A bank loan used to be the one, one, one of the main ways to get financing for startup businesses, but banks have been raising record low interest rates and tightening their lending criteria. But that's not stopping some resourceful entrepreneurs now turning to their own customers to raise funding. Christian Yeo explains. Fashion is big business. In June alone, more than two billion U.S. dollars were spent in Canada's clothing stores. As for Toronto, it's seeing an independent retailer boom. Opening a store isn't cheap, and trying to get a bank loan can be a painful, if not impossible, task. But for those with an online following, crowdfunding can provide that much-needed cash injection with little or no strings attached. Five years after launching Crywolf, an online clothing boutique, Stephanie Drabik and Rose Chang decided to open their first bricks and mortar store. We felt like we had built a big enough following and if we didn't start and push ourselves now, like we would probably never do it. But the girls soon discovered that not everyone thought their venture was bankable. Banks are looking for you to have assets and own things and I mean when you are started your own small business from scratch you don't have those things. Rather than give up on their dream, Rose and Steph set up an online crowdfunding page where fans could make a cash donation to help grow their company. In exchange, supporters get a token thank you gift. We really like it because it's the community helping people who believe in you. Crowdfunding was pioneered by tech startups, but the concept now helps countless causes achieve financial goals. Gossip website Gorka raised more than $200,000 to secure apparently scandalous video footage of Toronto's mayor. The benefit is that the market, not a bank manager, decides what progresses and what doesn't. A democratic donation system based on products, not profits. The concepts that are really getting funding and really rocketing to the top are those really cool products that people want. They want desperately to see those products come to the market. But it means banks are no longer the first stopping place for entrepreneurs in need of cash. When Steph and Rose's bank eventually offered them a loan, they were able to say, no thanks. They already missed the part where we actually needed their help, so we just decided to do it on our own. <laughs> The internet has changed the way companies communicate and sell to consumers. Crowdfunding takes it one step further, allowing customers and fans to play an integral role in the entrepreneur's journey to success. Christian Yeo, CCTV, Toronto.